I wanted to make a video for you Honda people out there. If your VTEC's not working, a couple things you can check. Uh, in my case, I just assembled a motor. Uh, this is a B18C. It's a JDM GSR motor. I don't know if you can see that. Um, everything was checking fine, but I still wasn't getting VTEC. I had, um, I had power going to the solenoid. The solenoid was clicking on when it was supposed to. I even jumped the solenoid and the solenoid is working. The plunger was fine. Uh, there's nothing in the screen. There's, you know, no debris in the screen. I'd get oil pressure, I'd get oil level. Everything seemed fine and VTEC just wasn't working. And here's the kicker. Um, no check engine light, no codes. So the first thing you wanna check, uh, this is m a little more common. Um, there are a couple other videos that are already covering this on, on YouTube, but this little O-ring and this dowel, this is the head if you're not already aware. Um, under the number three cam cap, there's a little dowel and there's a little O-ring. So I checked that on mine and sure enough, they were missing. So I thought, cool, super easy fix. Put a new O-ring in, put a new dowel in, and um, still no VTEC. So now I was really confused, um, because literally everything was fine. I, I could even rev the engine up and basically hotwire the solenoid in my driveway and VTEC still wasn't working. So it was a mechanical problem. So then I checked all these, made sure the pins were in there, and the pins were in there. Uh, then something, my, my spidey senses started tingling. Basically, I had a feeling of what was wrong, and it ended up being what I'm about to show you. So basically, I bought this head and the short block separately. They're both GSR, uh, P72, but I bought them separately and assembled them, and I figured, hey, maybe there's a chance that this head was used on like an LS VTEC or a B20 VTEC build. Basically what that would mean is that this oil port would be blocked and guess what, it is. And I think the main reason why I didn't notice that was because um, it's black and it's screwed in there pretty deep. So you could take this stupid thing out and that is blocking the line to your VTEC solenoid. This stupid 20 cent 1 8 NPT plug from Maze Hardware cost me so much angst. And unfortunately, I mean, it's not the hardest thing to take a head off of one of these, but I did have to buy a new head gasket. I was unable to reuse my head gasket. I had to buy new cam gears. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. So if your VTEC isn't working, you don't have a code, and you're not really sure the history of your engine or the head, check for this. Because if I hadn't thought to check for this, I would have been confused for God knows how long. So anyway, good luck out there. Hope you get your car sorted out if you're watching this.